Welcome back to another video. Today is this week's episode of Funko News. Now, there's not much new stuff was announced this week. Probably because, if I'm not mistaken, they will be announcing the San Diego Comic Con stuff. I think that is going to be happening this week. Anyway, let's get started. And whenever Funko, when they do announce the San Diego Comic Con stuff, I will, uh, add every day, probably, I'll probably do it maybe around 8 or 9 o'clock at night. Um, I will do a Funko News video, of course, of everything announced, or it might be the next day in the morning. Uh, who knows, but once they do announce them, I'm definitely going to be doing it every day and showing off everything announced for the day. Now, some of the rumors, uh, there are three rumors that I'm looking forward for and ones that I would actually want to pick up. So, the first one... Here is um, for the DC one at Dr. Fate. Uh, my brother really likes Dr. Fate. It's one of his favorite DC characters. I don't know why, but it is. Uh, he really likes that character, so I'd get that one for him. Next one is the Three Musketeers uh, Mickey Mouse. It is another one rumored. So there's, uh, they already made Donald for WonderCon, so I still need to get Mickey and Goofy. So I definitely want to pick up Mickey if that is one. And then the glow, and the and then the Phantom Shadow from Scooby Doo, um, that one would be glow in the dark. So I definitely get that one too, if it comes out. Anyway, let's get on to the first stuff. So earlier this week, this was seen on Funko Europe's website, and this is the T'Chaka from Black Panther, and the U.S. retailer for this one is unknown. Now this one looks cool. Um, probably won't pick it up though. Um, but once, if I do get further information about this, uh, figure, I'm definitely going to share it with you guys. So, yeah. So far, the U.S. retailer is unknown, but when Funko officially announces it, I'm definitely going to tell it to you guys, or it will definitely be an episode. So, yeah, not much. There's probably maybe only, like, 20 slides, so this will be a really short episode. Um, but, yeah, so this one does look cool. Um, but when I do figure out, uh, when there is more information about this one, I'm definitely going to have it in another Funko News episode. Now, speaking of SDCC, this is the 2021 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive DC Imperial Palace Deathstroke. Now, this one, of course, is confirmed to be one, and this one looks pretty cool. So, this is for the, I think, the newer, yeah, this would be the second Imperial Palace wave. Yeah, and there's kind of going away from Batman. I think some rumored are to be like Wonder Woman, Superman, Flash, uh, kind of other DC characters. Uh, I think Green Lantern might be one. Um, but this one does look really cool. This is one that I probably won't pick up for SDCC. And um, so yeah, one that I probably won't pick up. And then I think they're also bringing back the Box of Fun this year. And that's coming back, so... I'm definitely going to try and pick up one of those ones, because those pops can shoot up in price. That's probably the only reason why I didn't pick it up. And there are some cool ones in there. There was a leaked picture of it. I tried to find it for the episode, but I couldn't. And um, there were some cool ones, like uh, uh, Freddy as Freddie Mercury, tennis, soccer, um, a lot of cool ones. Him as the Wolfman was another one. So definitely, I definitely probably will pick up a box of fun this year. If I can get one. Yeah, overall, Deathstroke, it does look really cool. And when Funko officially announces this for SDCC, I definitely will um, show it to you guys. Anyway, let's move on. Next here is an upcoming Amazon exclusive. This is the Amazon exclusive Disney artist series Mickey Mouse. So this one, I don't know why, but he has a lot of, like, trains and stuff on him. Now this is the same sculpt as the original Mickey Mouse. And I do like this one... And I probably will pick this one up. I don't know. I think this one does look really cool. So yeah, this is one I probably will pick up. I don't have an artist series figure yet, but personally, I probably like the Walmart exclusive ones a bit better. This one doesn't really make as much sense, um, but I still will pick this one up. And this one is an upcoming Am yeah, Amazon exclusive. I don't know why, but Funko seems to announce these like every other month. Um, so this one is probably going to come out most likely sometime in July. Next is we have some pops that you can find um, in stores now. So we have the FYE exclusive Monster Stitch and then the Target exclusive 2-pack. That one there, definitely not going to try and pronounce that because I know I'll get it wrong. 
Um, yeah, these two seem to be hitting stores now, so uh, check your local Target and FYE if you want to pick these up. Also available now are the Mummy Pops, so we got Immosept. I, I, I don't know why, I, I think it's pronounced Immosept, that's how I pronounce it. Then there's Ever Evelyn and Rick O'Connell. I definitely will pick up the Immosept and Rick O'Connell ones, I think those two pops look great. I don't know if I'll get the Evelyn one. I might. Um, but I definitely want to get the uh, the Mummy and Rick O'Connell. Because uh, those two do look really good. Especially the Rick O'Connell one. I almost pre-ordered that for Funko Fair. Um, but I waited to pre-order it. Because I wanted to pre-order, I think it was the Happy Days ones. So I didn't pre-order the Mummy ones. But I definitely will try to pick those ones. If I, if I see them in stores, I'm definitely going to pick them up. So yeah, these are two that I do really enjoy, and two that I definitely would want, or that I will try to pick up. This next one here, we got this week's Funko Shop Drop. This is the Funko Shop exclusive Foodies Lucky Charms box. Now this one is still in stock on the Funko Shop. A lot of people don't really like the Foodies line. I mean, I don't mind it. I see why they don't like it. Um, but I, I don't know, I kind of like it, because it's just, I don't know. Because it's so they can... Actually, I don't know why I like it. I don't know, because it's kind of, like, related to ad icons and stuff. So, I pick up, like, the food and stuff that I actually eat. So, I did order this one off the Funko Shop. So, if you want to pick this one up, it is still available on the Funko Shop. If you want to pick this one up, uh, it's probably not going to sell out for a long time. Because uh, a lot of people are saying how they don't like this one. I mean, it's alright. Probably not my favorite uh, foodies one, but it's one that I still wanted to pick up. And this one is still available on the Funko Shop. Also, the same day, same time, they got a restock on the Tony the Tiger. Now, this one, this restock did sell out really quick. Um, look, I'm glad, though, I did order this one the day it came out. Um, like, right away when I saw the uh, tweet, I definitely picked this one up. And it was actually in my Season 1, Episode 1 of Funko Pop Review. So if you want to see me talk about this pop, go check it out. Um, but this one did sell out really qu quick, this restock. And I'm glad I picked it up uh, when it came out in May. But overall, I do really enjoy this one. And uh, like I said, the restock did sell out really quick. Speaking of Funko Pop Review, I decided to kind of stop Comic-Con Pop Review. Because then it didn't really make sense because I'm like reviewing them. But then I'm also going to review them again in Funko Pop Review. So it didn't make s that much sense. Um, for me to do it, and then, um, I decided to shorten <laughs> Funko Pop Review, uh, to 8 episodes, just knock off 4, cause 12, it's a lot of episodes, and I'm doing it every other week, so it'd be going on for maybe, like, 2 months. Um, see, so yeah, I shortened it to 8 episodes, and I will probably still do it every other week, it depends, uh, um, but yeah, tomorrow, um, Season 1, Episode 3 will be coming out. That's going to be tomorrow. Seinfeld. That's all I'm saying about it. Anyway, moving on here. They did announce some new Loki Pops. Or a new Loki Pop. And this is... Slivey? Si si um, and then there's also the Walmart exclusive Glow version for this one. Now, the Glow in the Dark pre-order, I think, sold out. I think that's how I pronounce it. But anyway, guys, I'm about halfway done with the... Falcon Winter Soldier season finale, so I'm about halfway done with this, so I'm definitely going to watch Loki, uh, once I finish it, sorry, it's on the screen there, but once I definitely finish, uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, I about, I think I have about maybe like a half hour left of the season finale, I'll definitely watch, uh, Loki, because I've finished WandaVision, I'm almost done. Another Funko Shop restock they got, guys, was the uh, 2020 San Diego Comic-Con exclusive limited of 3,000 pieces of Black Lightning. Again, really surprised, because this one was going to be the convention exclusive. But, um, yeah, this is a cool one. Um, if it, I didn't get this one on the restock, and plus it sold out super quick. Um, but a really unexpected restock, because this was considered the convention exclusive for 2020. So, really shocking. Also, this one has been seen in stores. This is the Target exclusive Black Light Eddie Brock with t-shirt. Now, this one has not been officially announced by Funko. Um, but it is still a cool, it's a cool 
pop. I do like the normal Eddie Brock one, but yeah, the Blacklight one is coming soon. Um, the Funko hasn't officially announced it. And, um, uh, they might announce it sometime soon during something that is coming up here. And, uh, they're doing a Funko event before SDCC. And, um, it's happening this week, I guess. The Pop uh, Palooza, I think is how you say it. But, it's anyway, it's from June 30th, 30th to July 1st. Uh, Funko didn't really say anything about what it is. I think it might have something to do with, like, music. They might be announcing a bunch of music pops, maybe? Um, because I see the music notes and stuff. But, yeah, I've no, I don't think anybody really has a clue to what this is. Um, but yeah, I'll definitely see what it is. And, um, I, at the end of this week, when they announce SDCC stuff, I'll uh, talk about where everything's going to be shared with. And, um, uh, maybe I'll probably will talk about this, too. But, yeah. Don't know what this is going to be. Next year, we have the Entertainment Earth exclusive Diamond Stitch with Ukulele. Yesterday was like Lilo and Stitch Day. And this is the Entertainment Earth exclusive to kick, to start, um, to start off SDCC week. And this is a cool one. And if you want to pick this one up, go see if it's still available on Entertainment Earth. Okay, this is what I'm talking about with Eddie Brock. So this is the summer, the Target Summer Event Geek Out. The first teaser is coming July first and uh, there's probably going to be some Funko stuff so maybe some new Target exclusives um if there is a new if there are new Funko stuff announced for this I'll definitely share it with you guys in Funko news um so yeah don't know what don't really know what this is um you can go to their website and it, and it actually kind of talks about it and stuff I read it kind of confusing um, but yeah, they're go coming out, I think, with, like, a bunch of collector Target exclusive items. So, probably gonna be some Target exclusive Funko Pops. And if there are, I'll definitely share them with you guys in Funko News, of course. Moving on here. This is starting to pop up in stores. The Mad Alfred E. Newman. Um, I'm probably not gonna pick up this one if I find the common, but if I find the chase, I'll definitely pick this one up. And it looks like this is going to be the first one in the actually Mad line. So I'd like to see other characters, maybe a spy versus spy, maybe, because that's my favorite, like, mad kind of characters and stuff. Uh, they, they, they used to be my favorite. Um, but if I do see the common for this, or, excuse me, if I do see the chase for this one, I'm definitely going to pick it up. Because, um, of course, he's the person who's always on the cover and stuff. So this one is really cool. If I find the chase, I'll definitely get it. And then... This week's Funko Pop Blitz event is Pop Royals. So the common is Prince William. The rare is Kate, Duchess, Duchess of Cambridge, Epic Prince Harry, Legendary Princess Diana, and the event only is Queen Elizabeth with Corgi. They changed it up, so instead, the box is worth 9,000 uh, 9, coins. And then the pops are at random. So I've gotten two Prince Williams and two uh, Prince Harrys. Um, it doesn't go common, rare, and then just random. All that's in there are the common, rare, epic, and legendary pops, uh, which is kind of nice. So I'm probably going to use my rare pop ticket to get the rare one, and hopefully get Princess Diana. And then I am really close to getting Queen Elizabeth, so I'm going pretty well in this event. <laughs> that's today's episode of Funko Funko News. Um, I will be back once they start announcing probably the SDCC stuff this week. And the concept of the day is another Chase Chaser one, and this is a Tin Man soda figure, which looks great. If they make it, definitely pick it up. I'll definitely pick it up. And that was today's episode of Funko News. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later.